Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you some fall homeschool organization and also some fall decor that I'm going to be doing downstairs. But first, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my office upstairs. You guys, if you are a returning subscriber, you are going to kill me. Just because I'm going to create an area upstairs for my daughter Brielle and me to do our homeschool. I do have two younger daughters. I have a one and a three year old and with the schedule changes that I made for us in our homeschool we primarily do the bulk of our homeschool between 12 and 2 during my younger daughter's nap time so what I'm going to do is take out this desk that's in my daughter's messy room and I'm going to bring it in my office and we're going to get started with a small um, nice homeschool space for her to be in here with me in the office so I'm starting off um, by just organizing her desk. This little area right here, my daughter, she definitely has requested me to do some type of a reading cozy area for her. And I definitely want to make that happen for her. I have been collecting all the things that I'm gonna need to make her a little reading nook. But for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get to semi cleaning and organizing in her bedroom. So if any of you guys are new here and are here for the first time, again, my name is Brittany. I'm actually a mom of three girls. I have a nine, three, and a one-year-old, and I'm in my second year of homeschooling, you guys. This has definitely been a crazy year so far, but you guys, I'm not going to lie with all of my struggles and the life challenges that has been facing us um, our first quarter of this homeschool year, I really still stand firm behind my decision and continuing our homeschooling journey it has truly been a blessing in our home and we're continuously making it work we're going through these up and down waves and yeah you guys um so right here i'm just showing you guys all the items that i got from five and below some of the things i collected for brielle's reading nook and just little um things i want to bring into my um home office now my shared homeschool space with my daughter um i'm really blessed to be able to have this extra room within my house um this room we was going to use it for a spare bedroom for my youngest daughter when she was born but we decided to room share so this really left an open space upstairs for for uh, me to have an office, which I love. I love having it. But as the kids are getting older and our homeschool journey has begun, I really am going to see this room change and um, evolve just around our family and our needs. And right now, you guys, I think this might end up being our permanent homeschool space. So I'm really excited to see this area transform for uh, me and for my family. Um, I know I did another video showing you guys me setting up my downstairs and I know I'm changing and ever evolving within this first um, um, or the second year of my homeschool but I find that that's the only way to survive is just to move and to change as things aren't working for you in whatever season or whatever flow you're going through so right now um, I'm really enjoying having Brielle upstairs with me before I set her desk up here she actually was doing her homeschool work on this little rug on the floor and I was like you know what Brie let's put your desk in here let's go ahead and make this thing official so um, yeah, I'm really happy and excited to have her right here next to me. Um, in this room is typically where I do film and I edit and I do all of my like mommy paying the bills and all that type of jazz. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying having her right in here next to me. Okay, you guys, right now I'm going to show you how I am starting, um, I guess as far as like record keeping and how I keep record of all of my daughter's work throughout the school year. I live in the state of Georgia and we're not required to have a portfolio, but I just like to make one. I've seen a few um, portfolios that a lot of homeschooler moms made and I really enjoyed it. So how I start off my portfolio or how I have started off in the past is what I do is I just take like either the heading or like the title of whatever curriculum I'm using especially the main curriculum and I put it in sheet protectors and as the quarters go by I pick out about four samples each quarter to put inside of her portfolio if you guys want like a more in-depth view of um, my daughter's portfolio and how I made it last year I would definitely show you her third grade portfolio that I made with her end of the year report and everything like that 
Here is Leia's little, I guess this is not really a portfolio for Leia because she's in preschool, but this is a keepsake folder that I wanted to make for her. So what I did was I used this regular 50 cent composition book and I'm just going ahead and I'm stapling in any type of like art projects, any type of like worksheets, anything that we do that I just want to keep and I want to hold on to it. I have been putting it inside of this composition book. A lot of these printables you guys are actually seeing are free pen printables from totschooling.net and I love them. I love all of the free resources that they have. Um, that is definitely my go-to when I just wanna print off a worksheet or something fun for Leia to do. Um, and another thing I do is I just always just give her just regular plain white paper. This right here, you guys, is the cutest brown bear um, activity that I found on totschooling.net where she was able to color each of the items from the brown bear book. We pasted onto popsicle sticks. It definitely was a fun project for her to do. Okay, you guys, right now I am going to show you some of the fall books and the things that I have just getting ready to set up on my bookshelves downstairs. I am very excited for fall, you guys. I'm ready for this season. But I have enlisted the help of my husband to help me move my bookshelf back upstairs because um, like I said earlier in the video, we no longer use this downstairs area as our homeschool space. Um, just with the new schedule changes and things like that in the morning, morning when we wake up we will have um, breakfast I will do preschool time we will have Bible we will do a lot of our readings and our read alouds we just cozy up on the couch a lot um, sometimes I find myself we watch um, documentaries our mornings are very very laid back after we finish our reading we will go outside so this area downstairs is not really utilized um, for homeschool the way that I intended it to which is you know it's perfectly fine so what I'm doing is I'm taking all this stuff that I don't use downstairs and I'm bringing it back upstairs in my homeschool space to reorganize this all over again so this is how the homeschool room slash my office is looking right now um, on day two um, the only thing that I really have to do is I have a few finishing touches and I have to put back all of my books and some of the decor item I want to put on the wall back onto my bookshelf. So um, I'm really excited about reorganizing and uh, really making this space uh, come alive. I think I might do like some color coordinating with the books and just really uh, make it look nice and fun upstairs.
you guys now that I have all the books organized and looking good I'm gonna go ahead and hang up my daughter's cork board you guys this cork board has been all over my house <laughs> <laughs> and I love it right now we're actually doing our amazing Africa unit and I'm gonna go ahead and put our world map on here our map of Africa and um, just some other things that we're doing uh, for Africa however I'm leaving space on here for my daughter if she wants to put like doodles and things like that she can put it on there as well so you guys this is a real-life raw moment I'm showing you inside of my homeschool closet at this point, you're seeing this closet. We have only homeschooled for six weeks and it already looks crazy all over again. But you guys, I'm gonna get it right back in order. So this right here is the original cart that I use when I'm downstairs. Um, when we do like our morning time, our Bible time, this is the cart that I pull from. So originally I had my daughters have two separate carts, but I just found that it was easy just to go ahead and combine both of my carts. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to organize and get everything together for what I use for downstairs and um, keep it on this cart. Everything else I'm going to go ahead and file away and make a permanent home for it upstairs. Okay, you guys, with me being in the fall spirit, I went ahead and I purchased the next Purely Preschool for Leia and also too for Alana for us to do our Purely Preschool fall. I went ahead and I laminated all of my science and my health cards and I have this unit all ready to go. I'm not gonna start this unit um, within this first quarter as we're wrapping it up. I will pick it up in our second quarter and I'm so excited to get started with our Purely Preschool. Again, my daughter's love. Love it so this is how downstairs is looking you guys I tidied it up a little bit and um, this is how it's gonna be for now on it looks kind of bare but um, I'm enjoying it So here is all of the fall books that I went ahead and I put on our bookshelf down here. I cannot wait to dive into all of these wonderful fall books with my daughters. I can't wait to have our poetry tea time. As you can see, my daughter Brielle, she's very excited about um, decorating this little area. I found this little garland with uh, these cream pumpkins on it at Hobby Lobby the last time that I was there. So I went ahead and grabbed them up because I thought they would look really cute on our bookshelf that we have downstairs. So here is my daughter decorating it and she's getting a little frustrated, but she sure is doing an awesome job. This right here is my morning basket, you guys, and nothing's really changed. Everything is still the same in our morning basket. We finished our book, A Long Walk to Water, and now we're moving on to packs, you guys. It has definitely been a fall favorite. I'm so happy this was our next chapter book, and we really are enjoying this uh, lovely adventure about packs and Peter.
Okay, you guys, before I end today's video, I wanted to give you a little mini tour of our new homeschool room slash my home office space. This is Brielle's desk where I keep all of her crayons and her pencils on it. Here is our homeschool schedule and her to-do list that I write out for her every day. Here is her latchmate, which we keep all of her main curriculum in and she is definitely loving it and enjoying it. Here is our homeschool cart, you guys, that I keep our Amazing Africa, our Purely Preschool on here, just any books that we need that we're reading at the time. I also keep our Living Art Lessons where we do our art at. I have our drawing paper, some more books and printables for uh, Leia. I have Leia's learning folder, her counting bears, and I also have a matching game for Leia to play with as well. When the cart is in its original home, I do keep all of our library books here, right here in this basket. So you guys, here goes our new homeschool space. I am really loving it. I am really enjoying it. Just making this air, you guys, has gotten me pumped and ready for our second quarter. You guys, I really hope you liked today's video. As always, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see everybody in my next one. Bye.